awards are not too far away. June 11th, the nominees, we know who the nominees are. And we're so lucky to speak with Wendell Pierce right now, the actor nominated for Best Leading Actor in a Leading Role in the Death of a Salesman. Wendell, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. What, what, tell me about your thoughts when you heard, when you saw, what went through your mind? An actor never prepares themselves for a moment like this. Mm -hmm. Um, you can never be ready for it. And uh, when I heard my name, I was so profoundly moved. Yeah. Um, I, I've been weeping all morning, and uh, it is such a wonderful honor that your colleagues will bestow upon you recognition for the work that you've done is something that is very, very special. Wendell, we're looking at some of you on stage right now, and when we talk about the depth of the importance of this particular production with an all-black cast playing the Lomans, talk about that in relation to this nomination. Well, this was an interpretation of the Loman family as a black family. If anybody understands how the American dream can be uh, turned into the American nightmare that can be denied the opportunities it's, uh, it's a black family in, in the experience of, of the journeys that the black uh, families have endured uh, in the history of America. And so if we are going to be reflective of all the messages of this play, of how we marginalize people by using uh, this carrot on a stick that everyone will be created, uh, be treated equal in the way that they were created. Um, if we're going to shine, as it were, or hold, as it were, a mirror up to nature, uh, you could not get a more profound and impactful interpretation than to do Death of a Salesman with the family, the Lohman family being a black family, because we understand and know that pain. And so that interpretation just heightened everything that Arthur Miller had written it in the play without changing a single word. One one reference, uh, one historical reference had to be changed, uh, but without changing a word, really just making the impact of the play even that more uh, poignant. I remember, and I remember one night in particular, a, a hundred-year-old woman uh, waited for me outside the theater. She had seen all the productions from the original that had been on Broadway. And she said, I just wanted to wait for you to let you know how moving that performance was. And that was a real, real gift. Wendell, I can't imagine, because we go back, Pulitzer Prize winning play Arthur Miller wrote in, what, 1949 or something like yes. that? It was first, yes. And, and, the, and the Miller estate uh, giving permission for this change. But again, just that point, that, that only one reference changed, and just how these words uh, ring in our hearts and uh, ring sad notes in our hearts as well. That's the role of uh, that's the role of theater, the role of <laughs> art, where we reflect on who we are and our humanity, and decide what our values are. Learn from the lessons that you see presented in a play like *Death of a Salesman*, and then leave the theater uh, emboldened to try to change the world for the better, yeah. to understand a lesson learned. And so that's that's the beauty of it. Well, it's profoundly sad, at the same time, it's inspiring mm -hmm. because. It's moves you to be a better person mm -hmm. and maybe create a better world. You know, uh, Malcolm X was on Turner Classic Movies the other day, and uh, he mentioned your name as the up-and-coming actors. I saw a, a picture of you there, and I, I didn't realize you'd been in that film, but you have such a broad uh, body of work, film, television. Yes. We know you from Wired, from Tame. But it's also important. Uh, this is your second performance nomination, but you're also uh, have producer nominations, too, for Tony's? Yeah, this is this is my first performance nomination. Oh, it is. Okay. And I had I had two producing nominations before, and one, Clyburn Park, in 2012, mm -hmm. uh, best play. Uh, but I'm an actor first, you know, <laughs> and have an honor have an honor like this. Mm -hmm. I studied uh, only blocks away from uh, Broadway at Juilliard to know that this production started three years ago in London, and now came to Broadway, shared with. Ten thousands of people, and to now have this accolade just really makes all of that work so um, 
worth it. The journey mm -hmm. and the challenge uh, and the pain and the difficulties, uh, this is a great reward. It is uh, it's not a competition. This is just a, a, a time where we reflect on the work that we've done and colleagues come together and say, well done, job well done. And that's what I'm feeling this morning. I just lastly have to ask you about your dad. Uh, is he 98 now, who was at opening night, and how much that meant to you, getting him up here? Uh, 97, still 98, what what did he say? He's, uh, my, my dad is 98 now. Uh -huh. um, his caretakers uh, uh, recorded the announcement this, this morning, and they're showing it to him now. And um, when I get off of uh, this interview, um, I will be calling him. and. Uh, That, that in itself is one of the great blessings of a morning like this. That in this place, in this moment of time, that I can share with my father, who's still here, uh, at the age of 98, and he got to see his son on the great Broadway. <laughs> and now that his son was nominated for that work, that's a gift that I'm going to be able to give to him in just a few moments that I never thought I would be able to give to. I'm so blessed. It's emotional, and we're happy for you. Congratulations. Wendell Pierce nominated for Best Leading Actor in a Play as Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman. Congratulations, Wendell. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Wendell. Um, I know. You know. I know. You know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, this is great. It's tears of joy.